Feelings and emotions are central in life, but also a basis for misunderstandings. The wheel of emotions helps to clarify and to find a common language. In the following, you see a guidance session with Paul and Susan. Paul is a school teacher tutoring Susan's son, Rob. Hi, Susan. Nice to meet you. Hi, Paul. Great. So, your son is in my class and you ask for an appointment with me. What brings you here? Uh, I'm worried about Rob. Mm -hmm. um, he refused to, to go to school and uh, he doesn't uh, sleep and he doesn't eat and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, he doesn't want to talk to me. I, mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. what, mm -hmm. I, what, what can I do? Yeah, yeah. So you're thinking, so how to deal with your son or how to talk with him? Uh -huh. Yes. And at the moment you are quite unsure what to do. Yes. Okay, so in that case, if you like, I could support you. So I have a tool. We only would spend five minutes and just to clarify your emotions. Is that fine for you? Yes, thank you. Okay, Susan, thanks for trusting me. So in that case, I start. So look here. This is called the wheel of emotions. As you can see, there are some different emotions there, and they are just here randomly. And so now for the moment, I always will ask you about one emotion and just from your very first feeling, tell me if you feel it yes or no when you think about talking with your son. So just a very quick uh, answer, just always yes and no when I ask you about one emotion, okay? Yes. So randomly I start with anxiety. Do you feel anxiety? Yes. Yes. In life you only can be anxious about three different things, about loss, about confusion or about aggression. What is it? It's about loss. Okay, so it's anxiety about loss. Do you feel anger? No. Do you feel depression? No. Serenity? No. Happiness? No. Love? Yes. Shame? Yes. Guilt? Yes. Grief? Yes. Rage? No. Okay, so in that case you said yes to five different emotions and I totally understand you that it's difficult to know how to deal if you have so many different emotions thinking about talking with your son. Mm. And as we had anxiety, as we had love, shame, guilt, a little bit of grief. Uh, could you tell me what was the strongest emotion thinking about this situation? Anxiety. Anxiety to loss. Uh -huh. So I'm not a, a therapeutic setting, so it's just a guidance. And my suggestion for you is before talking with your son, please think for yourself. How can you support, how can you help yourself dealing with that anxiety. Because, as I know, if you are not clear and you do not feel safe, it's very difficult to talk with your son. Mm. So please think about one idea to help yourself against this anxiety of loss. Do you have any idea what you could do? No. No. In many cases, it helps if you talk to somebody. Do you have anybody uh, you could talk with about that? It's difficult, I think, because I knew mm -hmm. here... Do you have any friend, any family member? Yes, I think uh, uh, my sister. Okay, that's great. Uh -huh. So, what I would suggest now, that you leaving here, you call your sister and asking for uh, just a talk with her about your anxiety. 
Is this something you would do? Um, yes. Yeah. Okay, that's great. So that would be the first step. And if you want, after talking with your sister, we could have another uh, arrangement and talk about further steps with your son. Okay. 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 So thank you, Susan. Bye. Thank you.